here we are at one of the absolute best Chinese restaurants and seafood restaurants in San Gabriel, Newport Seafood. This place is known for their live seafood, especially their lobster. Live lobster from the tank, they make it a very special way. It's a huge presentation of a lobster. This is one of the big wonders of Los Angeles, actually. You know what makes this place so unique? You walk in here and it's like little departments, little, 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 little boxes with a big table. So you can come in with a big party. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It is, yeah. Definitely this is the place you come to, um, you know, for any occasion. You can sit out there in the main dining room where it's like a party going on out there. So many people, you see all the activities, hustle bustle. But if you want something quieter, more private, they do have these rooms here where you can have birthday parties, maybe like mini, what, wedding receptions, something like that. Yeah, take up the whole space basically. Right. And to ensure you get fresh, fresh lobster, they got some tanks back here, right? Yeah, that's the first thing you see when you come into the door is the seafood tanks that's behind me. So this is where they have dozens and dozens of live lobsters of all different sizes. And they also have other seafood here as well. Like the, they got fish here, they got uh, shrimp here when it's in season, they got the geoduck here, they got everything here. And they also have these huge Alaskan king crabs here, which is insanely expensive. But yeah, you can have a feast with that if you decide to get it. But man, they don't cut any corners around here. So this is the weenie right here? Yes, this is it. This is their live lobster. So this sells like crazy at this restaurant. You're gonna be able to sample this today. Ooh. Be careful there. This is a big one here. My goodness. Yeah. And it's delicious too. This guy is huge. Uh oh. <laughs> I think he's trying to do the, the little karate uh, karate on me, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is but uh, they're going to cook these for us. And we're going to eat, baby. Fresh lobster. It doesn't get any more fresh than this, right? It doesn't. <laughs> Oh, one of the best lobster dishes you'll find in LA. Ready to do this up? Let's do it. Let's get cooking. So we had these little guys a little while ago holding them up and now they're all cooked up in garlic, spices, onions and the whole shebang and this beautiful platter. Don't mess around dude. Mm -mm. Look at that beauty. Oh yeah. So you, so you had this before, right? Absolutely. Like a lot of people has had this, and like I said, this is so special because it's it was live. <laughs> now it's pretty much on the platter, and they deep fry this, and then afterwards they cook it in the wok with their house special spices and vegetables and ingredients, and this is what you see right here. Doesn't it look amazing? Beautiful, man. And like you said, this thing was alive five minutes ago. Now it's on our plate. <laughs> Fresh does that look, you know? Delicious. As fresh as it can get. Their house special sauce. And look, it looks very marinated. Yes. It's really good, brother. Yes, are you ready? Just go in and just eat it. Ready? Go. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, that was good. So oh, meaty. Mm hmm. Here you go, please. Mm. You see how fresh it tastes too? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. A little sweetness to it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of where you know it's fresh. Yeah. Garlic, very, very powerful dish, I would say. Yeah. You see, a lot of restaurants, <laughs> when they make lobster, they use just, uh, it's very simple, uh, butter, maybe lemon, but here, the reason why it tastes so great is that they have the spices and the sauce over it that takes it to a new level. And like I said, really one of the most famous lobster dishes you can find in LA at this restaurant. Ready? 
Wow. Mm. I mean, you know what I like to do with my hands? You know why? That's what you're saying, a finger licking good. Absolutely. Mm. Let me tell you, this, the vegetables and the sauce is so good that people actually take it and even put it on top of the rice and enjoy it just like that. Yeah, this is how good the sauce is. Oh yeah, you see that? Oh boy. And you can certainly put a lobster on top of here too. No, you're gonna have to teach me how to eat rice too. Okay, just pick it up. It's a, yeah, just like that with the veggies. Almost. Oh. All right, I All got right. some jalapenos. Okay, let's do it. Mm -hmm. You see how good those veggies taste on top of the rice? Mm -hmm. mm. It's like comfort food, right? I'm in heaven. And a lot of people out there, let me tell you something. Yeah. They think they had Chinese food. But you gotta come to these places where they just make them fresh, they make it big, they make them bold, they use all the sauces. Yes. And now I feel like I have eaten Chinese food. Oh, that's good to hear. Seriously. Okay. This is Chinese food. Yes. At its best. Yeah. Tastes different than Panda Express, right? Yes. Okay. A little different than Panda Express, definitely. A little bit different? <laughs> no, this is, this is like day and night, rather. Oh, man. Oh, mm. good. That's kind of like that's kind of like same people sometimes. They say, "Yeah, I know Mexican food. I go to Taco Bell or Del Taco or Chipotle." Or Chipotle, yeah. I mean, fresh, sweet, garlicky, spicy. You're gonna be licking your fingers. Mm -hmm. It's one of those one of those things that is a really good experience. Yes, and let me also tell you, it comes in different sizes too. So you can order a smaller one, or you can go all out and get a big lobster for the table. Like the one we had. Just like, like the one, like we, this one we went all out and got the big one right here today. And this is what they call their French steak. Uh, it's not from France, they just named it that because there's some, uh, uh, I guess some French influences in, in it. This is actually more of a Vietnamese dish, but uh, it's still a very big bestseller here because this restaurant has um, some Vietnamese and some Cambodian influences in the cooking. So you're gonna notice that. And this is definitely within that region. So it's basically filet mignon that's been stir fried with some pepper in it, some delicious uh, sauce like gravy. And this one, you know, there's two ways you can eat it. You can eat it by itself or you can take some of the lime Drizzle it on, put some of that salt and pepper on, and it's an explosion of flavor in your mouth. Exciting, right? Very exciting, man. Mouth watery here, and the aroma, my goodness. Some of this lime juice on top of it. So, Mexi Papa, go get one piece. This one right here, where I put this the lime right juice. Here is getting all the love, right? And put it in here. Yes, dip some of that salt and pepper in. Very spongy, very flavorful, yeah. very juicy, mm -hmm. very good. It's tender, right? Woo, woo, woo. And very tender. Yeah. Right. Don't you love that <laughs> lime juice? Just mm -hmm. adds flavor to it, right? Great little touch. Mm, absolutely. Love it. This one yeah. is their salt and pepper shrimp. This one is actually a very popular Chinese dish and they make it exceptionally good here. It's uh, battered, deep fried, and then afterwards it's finished off with salt and pepper and some condiments, just some, you know, some of this uh, green onions and jalapeno. Very simple tasting, but very delicious. You're into fried shrimp, right? I love shrimp, bro. And, and you know what I like about it? The shell's still there. The head's still there. And to me, that's where a lot of the flavor is at. And here's the crazy thing. You can actually eat the shell with it. So you just put the whole thing in your mouth and it's Yes. How about, man, we, we go at it on this one right now. Right now? All right, let's you do know it. What? You want to put some lemon? Yes, let's do it. After all, lemon makes everything taste good, right? <laughs> this one is so good. Okay, here we go. Grab one. Don't be afraid. Put the whole thing Heck in your mouth. No, man. Head and everything. Yes. Okay. Mm. 
Shell, the head. You gotta eat the whole thing. The whole thing. Mm, mm, mm. So good. Oh, I see you're getting, you're gonna get another one, some jalapeno. You like it spicy, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. This is so good. Mm. Mm. Uh, the shell, they, they, they fry it and they crisp it in a certain way. Mm -hmm. It just melts. It does. Yeah. It doesn't have to do that much. So this is one of the best things you can get at this restaurant. Wow. Money, baby. <laughs> Absolute money. money. What's going on here, bro? This is the salt and pepper fish. Also another popular Asian dish. This is also one of their best sellers here at this restaurant. Battered, deep fried. It's kind of like that shrimp in some ways, but this is a filet. You like your spicy, huh? Put some jalapeno in there. This is a Mexican in me, right? Oh yeah, I can tell. <laughs> I was expecting it a little harder. Mm -hmm. I think it's so soft. Yeah. Very soft, very juicy. You're talking about inside, right? Yeah, the inside part was just, mmm. But, <clears throat> batter? Yeah. Nice little light batter, but trust me, inside, all well, the juicy side. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. yeah. Almost like a little fish and chip, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> so good. Do you like that salt and pepper flavor? I love it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Yeah. Look at that steam coming out. What do we got here, brother? Basil oh, clams. Okay. Yes, and yeah. these clams are also very fresh. It's a top seller here at this restaurant. Let me tell you, their lobsters are good here, but customers come to also eat this delicious clam. And you see, how it has so much of the sauce inside, it has some jalapeno inside of it. I'm telling you, this is a flavor bomb in your mouth. Here we go. Give me some of the broth. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, baby. Mm. Are you drinking the soup? Oh my god. Wow. It's one of those dishes, very soothing. Mm -hmm. Very soothing, really good. Mm -hmm. And you got some heat in it, but you can also taste a little garlic. I can eat about a thousand of these. A thousand of them? I eat a lot of tofu in my life, but not like this. This is a fried tofu. Okay. Yeah, they have fried tofu in Japanese restaurants too, but this one is definitely one of the standout best fried tofus that you'll have. So outside is crispy, battered, but inside, melt in your mouth, soft. But there is a special way to do this actually, Maxi Papa. Yes, so you take one of these tofus, and it's very hot, so you better be careful. Oh, that's not a problem for you, right? <laughs> okay. So you take it like that, and then you see this special sauce? Yes. Ooh, it looks delicious, huh? You put it on top just like that. And then, I mean, you can break it apart if you want, if it's a little too hot, and you know, just to cool it down a little bit, but basically, just like that. Wait for me. Okay, so take your tofu. Uh -huh. Oh, you're gonna try it? Okay. Yeah. I like kind of like uh, this one. Here. Okay. And split it apart. Yes. I'm gonna split it apart a little bit. And I'm gonna do the honors of putting some go for it sauce on top. Oh yeah. There we go. Just like that. I do get a special request though. I want more sauce. You want more sauce? Oh, you're a sauce person, aren't you? Oh yeah, I see. Ooh, look at that right there. Oh yeah. Ooh, let's go for your sauce, huh? Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Mm. 
Again, man, I hope we just smell it and then that sauce. Put this on another level. So I told you, it's crispy on the outside, but soft melting, almost like a pudding kind of, right? It's so good. Yeah. And the sauce, you gotta have the sauce, man. I'm telling you. This is just so good. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Socks makes everything, but then this is cooked to perfection. My goodness. Crisp in the outside and like butter in the inside. Yeah. So, good. so when you come to this restaurant, if you don't know what tofu dish to get, just get fried tofu, you'll be taken care of. Yes. Yeah. This one here. Mm -hmm. What is this? Bro? This one is one of their best selling vegetables. They call this the snow pea sprouts. You don't find this in too many Chinese restaurants, actually. This one. If you have to get a vegetable one, they said this is the one that's perfect for the entire meal. You see how thin it is? Very thin, crispy, and then you can really, really taste the herbs. I mean, herby. Yes, do you taste the garlic too? Mm. <laughs> a little touch of garlic. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. No babies, man. <clears throat> this hits all the cylinders. Gotta have your veggies. Mm. You can't get enough of this one, right? <laughs> I'm a master now of these. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> what a feast! What a meal! My goodness. Uh present yourself to my audience out there. What's your name? Wendy Lam. How is it that this place is so good? We make the fresh ingredient. Mm -hmm. Everything is almost fresh, not you by the can. The lobster here is no joke. I mean, it's about that big. So it's huge. You have the lobster almost a seven pounds. It's really the best you can find, especially if you want Asian style lobster. And you know, there are a few Chinese restaurants around Los Angeles that makes lobsters too and it's pretty good as well but here they make it in a very unique way and she has the recipe obviously how long have you been here 1988 we stopped wow. oh 1988 so i get older <laughs> <laughs> you can come in and you can bring in big groups mm -hmm. and uh they got a little sections like little rooms very cozy very quiet mm -hmm. very intimate and anybody can sit here and just enjoy a really good meal. If you want the real, real Chinese food, Chinese seafood. So come in here, Newport Seafood and San Gabriel. Bring the family, big family, big group. Enjoy it, the fresh ingredient, good food. Good service here, thank you. My personal tip, get the lobster and man that tofu. <laughs> money but hey guys i jam i jam here this is really good brother absolutely this is this was nice and i could have done it without you oh, oh. <laughs> so follow this guys rockstar eater instagram and then on youtube